hey guys welcome back to the second video of the buy simple gui tutorial series so in the last video we learned how to install pi simple gui and how to create a very simple application in pi simple gui in this video we'll be practicing the skills from the first video and we'll also be learning how to use radio buttons so radio buttons are a way to provide options to the user and the user will only be allowed to select one option all right so the user will only be allowed to select one option and then we get the option and we'll be able to process it further all right so the first step is to set the theme so i'll be using the default one theme so the default one theme looks quite nice so the function is pg dot theme then in this we'll create a string and make and call it default one so now we'll be creating the layout for our window so we need to create a variable called layout We'll create a python list and then we have to create more lists within this list to create the elements for each row right so our first element will be pg text so we'll just be a simple we'll put in some text saying enter name right so just enter your name and then pg input text all right so you in this box we'll enter the name right in our form so in our next row what i'll do is i'll just copy paste this okay so enter age and maybe enter email right so name age and email so after this what we want is we will use radio buttons in our very next row so what i'll do is Put in a label favorite programming actually just say favorite language all right to make sure the label is not too long all right and now we'll create the radio buttons so pg radio python so that'll be our first option pg radio java okay and also since a radio button is like we can only select one radio button we need to put it in a group to let PySimple GUI know that if I select the Python radio button then the Java radio button should be unselected and if the Java radio button is selected then the Python radio button should be unselected okay so what I'll do is create a group so just make a new string and we can call it whatever you want we'll just call it group one and similarly we also call it group one here make sure that the strings match there are no typos no capitalization uh, differences make sure the strings are the same and finally we need to create a few buttons so pg button okay pg button uh, close okay so There'll be an OK button and there'll be a close button. The next step is to create a window. So we will create a variable called window pg window and then the title of your window we'll just call it form and then you also have to put in the layout. Okay so now we'll create the event loop for our program. So we'll create a while true loop. So what will happen is that the program will keep going until the user closes the window or does something that you know switches off the program right then we'll exit the while true loop using a break statement okay next we need to do a window read so event values window read okay so what happens in window read is that the pi simple gui window will stop at window dot read all right and once it pauses at window.read the user will get a chance to input their name their age their email as well as their favorite programming language as a radio button right so the program will pause here and to continue from window.read what the user needs to do is to do an event for example click a button or close the window uh, that will be an event and once an event happens we will the window.read will return the event as well as the values and then we'll be able to do uh, we'll be able to process 
information afterwards right so what i'll do now is so we want to print event and print values right to just see what's going on and um, this is how you will also be this is what you'll be doing when you'll be creating your own PySimple GUI programs and if event is equal to pg win closed so if the user decides to close the window we will just break from the loop right we'll break out of the while true loop and then at the end we want to make sure we close the window and exit from python all right so what we'll do now is just run the program and see what happens okay so here's our form you can see that we have to enter our name and this is our text box so i'll just enter a random name john age let's say 20 email will be john at gmail.com and favorite language let's just say python all right so this is our form and we press ok okay so what happens is we paused at window.read and then once we clicked on the button which is an event we print out the event so in our terminal you can see we have print out ok so that's the name of our event and we print out the values so this is our name age email and this is our video buttons so the number three corresponds to python and number four corresponds to java so if python is selected that's why it's true if let's say i select java and press ok you can see the event is again ok and the radio buttons have switched okay if i press close so i accidentally press close twice but you can see that our event is now called close so here you can see that we haven't done anything with the close event so that's why clicking on close doesn't do anything and what i'll do is i'll close the window this time we'll call pg.win closed and you can see we get none so we i think i click the button twice but that's why what that's why we get none okay so what we need to do now is if the user clicks on the close button we want to make sure that the window closes and the program exits so we will create a new event we'll register a new event if the event is closed then we'll just break out of our event loop okay so let's see if it works so everything is here and if i press close our program ends right so this is what we want so if i run it again you can see that the text boxes aren't aligned properly so enter age the text box is a little shifted to the left so let's see how to fix this so what i can do is the text right the enter name enter age and enter email i'll give them a fixed size so i'll just use vs codes multi cursor editing so size and we have to give a tuple 10 1 so 10 is the width and one is the height okay so let's see if this works okay so now the text boxes are aligned and they look a little nicer so now let me enter the name age email will be john at gmail.com select python click ok so you can see that clicking OK gives us the event that gives us the values because we always print out the event and the values. OK, so even when clicking close, we still get the data. So what we need to do now is to take the new event into account, the OK event into account. So event is OK. So I can delete these lines and then print values so john 17 john at gmail.com let's select java this time click ok so now we get the list and if we click close we get nothing which is what we want so 
So printing out values is fine, but we want to format our output a little. So I'll create a f string in Python, which is a nice way to format strings. So name, all right, so values is zero. So this is a dictionary. We're just like taking the name into account, all right. So next let's take age values will be, so this time we have to take the age over here, then email values will be values two. So if values bracket three is true, we will print out so just to we'll just use this here favorite so let's see if this works so let's run the program enter name john 17 john at gmail.com so let's select python and click ok and okay so the it looks like it's working so name is john age is 17 email is john at gmail.com and favorite language is python if it's like java you can see that the favorite language has changed to java and let's click closed and yeah it looks like the program is working so here in the form i've added some text and if you click ok you can see that it prints out the output correctly however once we click ok we want to make sure that the output is cleared so that the next user can input their data without having to clearing out having to clear out each text box individually so the way to do this is to set is to go over here to input text and then there is a option called do not clear and we will make this false okay so making do not clear false makes it clear it right so if i click run so let's just quickly type this in john 17 john at gmail.com python i'll click ok and you can see that the data is printed out in a terminal and the boxes are cleared as well okay so you can go ahead and change the program however you want you can maybe put the output in a csv file a comma separated values file i don't know you can do whatever you want um, but yeah this is it this is how to create a very simple uh, python form so if you like this video please do consider giving a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video